Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Kay. And in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at my beauty purchases from November. So this is gonna be quite a short video. I made absolutely zero Black Friday purchases. It was hard. I uh, was sorely tempted to clean Beauty Bay out, but there were quite a few things that were sold out that I, I was sort of really interested in and when it came to buying the things that I was only half interested in, I just thought, what's the point? So I managed to hold myself back. I'm regretting some things, I've got to admit, but I'm quite pleased that I didn't completely go crazy. So let's get into what I actually did get, shall we? So first thing I want to talk about is refer brushes so if you saw my vlog you'll probably already have seen these um but i got these last month let me just take the thing off there we go so the case that um these have come in is a little bit different to the case that my original set came in that was more of a cardboard set this is more of a sort of shiny plastic as you can see um but i bought the holiday set so here they are and I'm afraid they are a little bit dirty because I've used them today in fact. I did wash them and thought, do you know what, I'll keep them clean to show on video and, and then I sort of wanted to use them so I did. Um, but we've got the, what's this one, so we've got the, num I think there's 23, 24 and 25? Yeah, so we've got the number 23 which is, I'm trying to get this all the way around, this tiny little brush here look how tiny that is um and this is the baby version of the number three um that was a small little pencil brush too and when i got that i fell in love with that brush it's so small and because i've got quite small eyes it just makes life so much easier trying to do any detail work you can get right in close to the waterline do any inner corner work it's just beautiful and this is just a tiny version of that so it's taken some getting used to because i've gotten used to using the number three but i do actually quite like this i think it's going to be really really handy for again getting really into that waterline area so that fine detail work so i'm looking forward to playing with that a bit more so far i've only really used it for sort of inner corner and having a bit of a dabble with under the eye but uh, but so far pleased with the quality as I was with the um, last set that I had um, then we've got the 24 which is this one here Come on. and this is just a densely packed brush you can see I've used my blusher on it today I think it was probably going to be good for cream blusher as well. You're not really meant to use um, cream or liquid products with um, real animal hair. These are real goat hair, by the way. But I think if you wash them immediately, you should be okay. I haven't tried it like that yet, but on the grounds that I do have some cream products, I'm kind of keen to try it like that. But so far, I've just used it as a blusher brush. You can definitely get a more densely packed blush with this so if i've got something that's quite pigmented like my cover effects blushes i'm probably not going to want to use this blush because it's sort of it's going to get it on there and it's going to be really hard to move it afterwards but um but for things that i'm finding are less pigmented like the blusher i've got in my project pan the havana benefit havana blush I've been really struggling to try and get the colour and I think it's because the product's old and it's it's on its way out. I'm getting rid of it at the end of the year. But I've been sort of struggling to try and get the colour on and I've used this and it's just made it a little bit easier because it is so densely packed it just picks up more product. So that's been really good. And then we've got the 25. 
Hello Sun. Um, and this is just a sort of fluffy powder brush. I've not really figured out what I'm going to use this for yet. I've tried it to just sort of put some powder on and it, it works okay. But I've got other things that I like to use instead. So I'm, I'm trying to figure this out but it's definitely soft and fluffy and I definitely enjoy the feel of it on my face so I'm sure I'm going to get some use out of it um, but with all three of them I like refer brushes I've loved refer brushes since I had my set last year um, I've used them non-stop and yeah I'm, I'm happy that I've got some more in my life so that is those next is a repurchase and this is from Hourglass so this is the Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara in the shade Ultra Black I'm not sure they even do another shade but anyway that's what it is um, as I said this is a repurchase for me um, I've currently got one open right now that I'm using but I really like this mascara really like it so I decided I would buy another one it's just for me, I just find that it is it is really, you know, instant extensions implies that it's lengthening. And for me, I really do find that it is. I also find that it just lifts my lashes as well. Like, I'm not claiming that it's curling or anything, but my lashes aren't really short and stubby. They don't really need the help. But I do find that I can get away without using an eyelash curler with these. Like I can put this on and I'm not going to look in the mirror and go, oh, God, I wish I'd curled my eyelashes first. So I was ordering something else at the time, which you're going to see in a moment. I decided to pop this in the basket because I really don't want to be without it. So that's that. Next was something else from Hourglass. And this was the holiday pack of the um, Ultra Slim Confessions lipsticks i've probably completely mixed that name up it doesn't matter you know what i'm talking about anyway um so i've got the holiday pack so you've got the um component here with one lipstick inside and this one is in the shade at dawn and that just looks like that so nice pretty color um, and then we've got the other shade that came which is in the refill component and this is at dusk and looks like that and this is the reason that I picked the pack up because I saw this shade and thought that looks lovely so that looks like that and it's just so pretty I have worn this one um, and I'm happy. I like the um, Everglass lipsticks. Um, I love this shade. What more can I say? Um, this shade, I keep looking at it thinking I'm not sure, but it is very similar to some of the other shades that I've got in my collection, so it will probably be all right. But it was I, I wanted this one. I thought I'd probably be okay with this one because I know what I'm like. I look at some things and think, oh, I'm not sure, and then I get them and they're fine. So I thought I'd give it. A, I, I thought I'd risk it basically. And <clears throat> and although I haven't worn it yet, I'm looking at it thinking it is quite similar to a few things I've got. So I'm I'm sure it'll be okay. But but this one. <laughs> yes thanks um, oh this this is something i forgot to mention in my last video actually my last um beauty purchases video i bought the la girl volumatic mascara it's got another name in there somewhere full-on volumizing lash lifting mascara i was never going to remember all of that this one is in the shade turquoise now i have had one of these before i had this in the purple shade I already know I'm not a big fan of this mascara but I bought this to go with the Halloween outfit makeup thing that I talked about in my last video um, it is a beautiful colour but again it's not amazing for trying to get the colour onto the lashes um, it kind of did what I needed it to do and it is fun to have a bit of a play with a little bit of colour on the lashes but I just want 
if I'm putting colour on my lashes, I want it to be like, hello, here's the colour. And I just find that I struggle to get this to actually give me the colour. But I thought I'd try it again just, just in case a different colour hadn't made any difference to the formula. It doesn't really. But, uh, but yeah, that was something else I got. And then the last things that I got were from Kaleidos Makeup. So I really wanted this. So this is the new Space Age um, highlighter in Prophecy. Love the packaging. As always, Kaleidos and their packaging, it just gets me every time. Absolutely love it. Um, but this is what it looks like in the pan I haven't even swatched this yet I've opened it and I, I, I was curious to see what kind of formula I thought it was going to be because there's there seems to be two kinds of formulas with the um, Kaleidos highlighters there's one that's in my opinion nice and there's one that's just a bit more chunky and glittery which I don't enjoy as much and I couldn't tell whether this was going to be the nice one or the chunky one it looks like it might be the nice one but we're going to find that out in a minute um, and then the next thing I got was the Mars Melter highlighter now this is the new formula and this kind of makes me a little bit sad so I bought the original Mars Melter not that long ago actually I've got it here so here's the original one, you can see the packaging's a bit different, this one's in the sort of soft touch packaging, this was in a metal sort of shiny feel tin. Um, so this is what the original one looks like. Um, so it's got that white base but then it's got um, like a pinky ready sort of shift to it, you can sort of see that in the light there. And this has become probably my favourite highlighter this year, I absolutely love it, so I'm just going to pop that on there, just to get that off my finger, don't know if you can see anything, there. oh there you go, so you can see that shift on there, absolutely love this highlighter, and then when they launched the Prophecy highlighter, they announced that they were changing the formula of the Mars Melter highlighter, and my, my heart dropped, because in my mind I'm like why what's wrong with it it's perfect I love it why would you change it there is a reason and I can sort of understand why um they've got another shade in the range called Comet Catcher and it's got a pink shift to it and I think they sort of thought that this was a little bit too similar to that and I can see it but I've never tried the Comet Catcher highlighter so I, I can't comment I don't know I can in swatches that I've seen online I can sort of see that they, they are quite similar but I've never seen them in person so I don't know um, so they've reformulated this it looks nothing like it looks nothing like the original for a start it's now pink in the pan I haven't swatched it yet but I can already tell just from looking at it in the pan that this is the chunky formula so I'm not going to be able to use this as a highlighter um, but I thought maybe I'd be able to use it as a blush topper even though I know I don't really like products like that I was curious about what the differences were I'd seen a couple of videos so I knew that perhaps this wasn't going to be something that I used an awful lot but I, I was hoping that the formula was going to be similar to the the original Mars Melter, it was just a different colour and I'm looking at it now thinking it's not going to be. What I think it's going to be more like is the Moon Cruiser which I've used but you'll be able to see from the state of it what I'm talking about. So can you see all that glitter, just chunky glitter just around the edge? I think that's what this is going to be like. So we're going to try it out now and we're going to see. So I'm just going to take the new Mars Melter, pop my finger in there and that's what that looks like. And it looks really pretty on the finger so 
mm, we'll say next to the original Mars Melter and that is what that looks like and you can see it's definitely looking more red but I don't know if you can see that on the ca on camera but it looks more glittery than the uh, than the original one does um yeah and it does look quite glittery on my finger now I've swiped it as well so we're gonna have to see how we got on with that but first impressions I don't think I'm gonna like this very much I'm gonna try it and don't get me wrong that color is absolutely stunning that is beautiful so I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to find a use for it maybe I will be able to use it as a blush topper but if it does glitter all over my face I'm not going to want to use it so I will say um, I knew it was a risk when I ordered it and I knew the chances were high that I wasn't going to be as thrilled with it but I wanted to know um, I think the original one is still available but it is listed as the original Mars Melter but I have heard that it, it's going to be discontinued so I might I might want to order a backup because I do love the original and then we're just going to swatch the um, prophecy one so I wanted this one because it intrigued me I'm not new to the idea of multi-chromes um, you'll know if you've been watching me for a while that I've got a few multi-chromes from Cleona Cosmetics but that sort of eye products this is a multi-chrome highlighter and the idea of that sort of I'm curious so I have seen a few videos um, of people swatching this and it does look beautiful I don't know whether I'm gonna like it as a highlighter because I, I like a highlighter and although I do like the um, original Mars Melter highlighter and it's sort of it's not exactly what you'd call a natural looking highlighter I really do enjoy it so maybe maybe i'll like this too so you've already seen what it looks like in the pan um let's just get my finger in there and oh oh that's shiny oh that is shiny oh my gosh oh, oh come on focus that is shiny oh my gosh that's um, how I'm going to do this let's just try it down here see how that works Ooh. oh that is interesting that's going to be very shiny on the face um, it's not looking chunky glittery though so I'm happy with that so I don't know if you're going to be able to see this in the camera. I'm not sure how I'm going to show you this. But I can see green and sort of a yellow and red and orange all mixed in there. That. Mm, I'm going to have fun playing with that. I'm going to try it as a highlighter. But I'm also keen to see how that looks sort of on the eyes as well. That look how shiny that is that that is definitely going to be a hello you're wearing highlighter kind of product but i'm gonna have fun playing with that but yeah so i'm i'm pleased with that one it's just the mars melter a bit sad about that so that was the last of the things that i bought in november so now it's over to you guys let me know what you think of the products i bought in the comments below have you bought any of these? If so, what do you think of them? Did you like them? Did you not? Is there anything here that you're interested in buying? Maybe you've got a question for me about something that I've bought. Um, again, comments down below, just let me know. I'm always interested to hear other people's thoughts and opinions. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that thumbs up button for me. It just really helps me out and lets me know that you're enjoying my content. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, then I'd love it if you consider hitting that subscribe button too. It's totally free and would help you to find me more easily. 
and with all of that being said i really hope everyone's doing okay and you know staying healthy and safe at the moment and i will see you all again in another video very very soon thanks for watching bye